Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another video. And this one is Atlas Earth related. And this one, we're going to talk about Maximus Damages. Um, the reason why is because I cut a deal with him some time ago that if he got to a solid second place, I would do another Whale Wars video. I haven't done a Whale Wars video in quite some time. And part of that is because Stealth G605 has basically just had the Iron Throne on that first place spot. Well, um, that was back when he was about double the parcel count of the second place person, which I believe at the time it was open boosters. I think Snowfish had just been getting up to third place at that point, if I'm not mistaken. Well, guess what? Open boosters is now currently at sixth. So yeah, there's been a lot more activity with Atlas Earth as of late. I'm not sure if it's because their marketing campaign is actually doing quite well now, and Atlas Earth has suddenly become a lot more cool than it used to be. But there has been an increase in the amount of players that have 25,000 plus parcels. Um, these super whales, I'm, I don't have a better term for it, you guys can decide. Uh, but you can see here that they are definitely moving up the ranks for sure. And one in particular that I want to talk about, and I'll talk about the others too, uh, Maximus Damages. And the reason why I'm talking about him is because all of y'all have been talking about him, and plus he's in the Beer Money Network, and I'm pretty sure he would appreciate me doing a video on him. Uh, a deal's a deal, so here we go. Uh, currently, Maximus Damages is sitting about 11,000 parcels below Stealth G605. Uh, I believe that has been cut by a, at least a little bit more than half at this point from where he was just a few weeks ago. And he has taken over my home state of North Carolina as well as Virginia. And he had Pennsylvania, but that one was taken. Uh, he's also mayor of Charlotte and all of these different uh, cities as well. I do know he put about 2000 down on Charlotte, and it looks like he's going to try to go after Raleigh. He might be on, I don't know, he might be on this list. Okay, yeah, he is buying land in Raleigh right now as we speak. You can see the feed over here. Um, so when that time comes, uh, he will also become mayor of Raleigh, and maybe I might pick that up by the end of the video. We'll see. Uh, the big question that we should probably ask is, will he eventually catch Stealth G605? Um, I'm going to say the answer to this is yes and no. Now, do I think he will hit 50,000 parcels? Um, I mean, if he puts down enough, yeah, sure, he could definitely hit 50,000 parcels. I mean, if he plopped another 100,000 right now, for example, he could hit 70, 75,000 parcels. But a lot of it's going to come down to how much money they're wanting to spend. And before I continue, everyone, I do want to say, um, please don't do this, all right? Unless you are like a multimillionaire a billionaire or some sort of like that, please don't do this. Now, if you're a billionaire and you want to have fun, yeah, go ahead, do whatever. Go put down 2 million parcels. I don't care. But if you, you know, if you are like me who isn't making that nearly that much money and is just watching as people put down parcels in a couple days more than you've made in an entire year, yeah, please don't do this, guys. Seriously. I mean, if you want to think about it this way, uh, the risk that they're doing, if you consider this anything of any sort of finance rewards or anything like that, you're looking at a bunch of evil Knievels out here. These six, well, five, I think Open Boosters has stopped buying, um, at least stopped putting money into it. At least he's openly said that. Um, the other five, though, like King of Queens, Snowfish, Shaman 15, Maximus Damages, and Stealth G605, of course, the original uh, Titan. I I call it Titan. I don't know. Maybe we should have a we should have a more comfortable name to call the people. I would say about the twenty five thousand parcel limit, and then we're probably going to have to do it again at the hundred thousand parcel limit. So going back to what I was talking about, will Maximus Damages pass Stealth G six hundred five? And I'm going to say the answer is, um, like I said, yes and no. But I'm going to lean more towards no now that I think about it. And part of that is because. Stealth G605, if you remember my video about him when he was first coronated uh, and passed open boosters as president, the issue that we had was that he had a lot of residuals coming in from the U.S. badges, from the state badges that he had. He has how many states right now? He has, oh, oh, geez, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten state badges. He has all of these city badges. Oh, he doesn't have as many cities as he used to, though, I don't think. He had he had a ton of mayors at one point, but now I think he's sitting at around like 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, 25, 30, 35, 36, 38. Yeah, he only has like 45 mayorships. I think he had like, he had to have had over a hundred at some point. Um, yeah, the, the not, okay. So the amount of mayors have been cut, but like mayors isn't the issue. Like the more consistent money comes from the governorships and he has plenty of governorships. He has plenty of, and of course he's the president of the most active country on Atlas Earth right now by far. Uh, so with all that residuals, he can build up a war chest from that alone and try to pull away a little bit more from Maximus Damages if he so wishes. He is also making a ton of money. Um, let me go to the A Atlas Earth calculator here and let's look at how much he's making. All right, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm having to use the beer money brew for this one. I will actually go ahead and increase the screen on this a little bit so that way you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, but this way I can show you both the screen and the, uh, my mobile screen at the same time. All right. So I did input Stealth G605's numbers into this. And considering 24 seven, he is an Explorer Club member after all. That means he is making $1,596 per month. Um, we can subtract 50 from that. So his profit is sitting at $1,546. Per month. Now, if he were wanting to reinvest all of that, and I'm talking the 1596 at this point, not just the uh, 50 bucks, because you know he could cash out 50 dollars. But let's be real here. Let's say he wants to reinvest the whole 1596, and then he waits until the 33 Atlas Buck monthly event, and that's an extra 520 parcels every single month, and that's on top of what I have been talking about, where he, I believe, he was making something like. Uh, I calculated 13,000 parcels a year, and this was back when Atlas Earth was a lot less active. Even if we're talking like a 50% boost in the amount of badges, I would have to ask Manning just how much how much of a boost they think that they're seeing right now in badge activity. Uh, he might have better number. He definitely has met better numbers than me. He works for the company. Uh, so even, even if we just guesstimated a 50%, okay, a 50% boost. So that's going to be... Uh, so we got 526 parcels here. We have, I'm going to do 13,000 for the year. I'm going to add a 50% boost. Now I'm going to divide this by 12. And I'm going to add an extra 563. So from just one month, this is how much I can guesstimate how many parcels he can put down just from his residuals and just from his bankroll. You know, so there is a lot that he's going to have to catch up on. And this is this is this is part of the reason why being a president is so desirable is because of all the amounts of residuals of Atlas bucks you can get. And with twenty two hundred extra parcels for doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, that'd be one way to do it. Now, if it were me, if I were Stealth G605, I would have cashed out the sixteen hundred dollars and not even worry about it. But something tells me that the competition here is going to get pretty strong between our six financial evil Knievels. Well, five of them, because I think Open Boosters has not been buying too much as of late. I mean, he has residuals, too. He could get himself back to fifth place if he wants. But I feel like if he's not going to put any more money into this game, it's only going to be a matter of time before he gets knocked out of the top ten entirely. Um, he'll always be in the top 25, though, I think. I think Open Boosters will always have a spot amongst like the first or second page of this leaderboard but i do think that where we're going to see the most out of this is going to be that people are going to start spending money and that's going to inspire other people to spend money which is great for atlas earth great for the game and great for those of us who have uh, a more of a want to earn money and earn a little bit of cash through atlas earth to continue to make money for years to come, basically. So it's great for us. Um, but again, if you see this as a financial investment, just think of how much time it's going to take to get your money back. Now, with Stealth G605's case, I believe I estimated that he would have had to be president for 
like six or seven years in order to get all his money back. And that's if he didn't reinvest his money in game. So considering that he's only been president now for a little over a year and he's being threatened and challenged like this, let's say Maximus Damage just becomes president in, say, three months. And Stealth G has been there for a, a year and a half. After losing the presidency, his badge residual is going to go down immensely. And all of a sudden, his rate of return, the amount of money that he would earn, is not anywhere is not going to be anywhere near as much as it once was. And his return is going to be a lot is going to be a lot less, which is going to result in him spending, either having to spend more money, or it's going to take him a little bit longer for him to get his money back. So like I said, if you're looking at this and not treating it like a game, you want to treat it as some kind of vehicle where you're going to get some money and you want to get some rewards out of it, you got to think about that long and hard. And this is the reason why I keep telling people this is not an investment. Do not treat this like a financial investment. And I don't give financial advice for that reason. All right. I will put out another update if we start getting close. Um, I'll probably talk with Maximus Damages. Uh, I will, I'll make one comment with Maximus Damages, though. I swear he put up this avatar just because I have to show it. I, he, he had a much better looking avatar and now he's using this and he's probably just doing this just because I have to put this on video now and probably going to be on the thumbnail too. I'm, I'm going to use the old thumbnail. Sorry, Maximus. Sorry, that that's not going to happen. Um, and also shout out to Shaman15, Snowfish, and the King of Queens, also above the 25,000 mark. Shaman15 especially, I think there is a chance that and he's the new governor of pennsylvania there's a chance that shaman 15 could be a sleeper as well depending on how much he wants to spend so yeah this uh this whale wars thing is about to get a lot more interesting and i have a feeling i'm going to be spending a couple more videos on it before this year is over i guess we'll see what happens um anyway uh that's pretty much the video everyone i hope you liked it uh, yeah, the next video is going to be on Beer Money Reports on Wednesday. I'm probably going to try to get it done by Wednesday, but it's more likely I will get it done by Thursday. And then on Saturday, I plan to do a video, an actually like ready-made video and not one of these impromptu ones, on the rate of returns on Atlas Earth because you guys have been asking for them. It's going to be a busy week. So if you like this video, please give it a like, comment what you think about the... Uh, these financial evil Knievels right here. I'm going to call them that. Uh, we'll, we'll come up with a name for uh, 25,000 plus parcels and then another one for 100,000 plus down the road. Um, I'm just going to call them, um, I'm just going to call them super whales now or something, you know? So anyway, um, yeah, and don't get to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. I am Pharaoh Silver signing out. Bye, everybody.